Hi, I'm Peter Kallström of Kallström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the differences between the built-in tasks list and the built-in issue tracking list, which of course both you can add to your site by going into site content and clicking on add an app. I've already done that. I've created an IT tasks and an IT issues list. On both lists, you'll notice that you have the new button here, very prominent. We also notice the major difference here that the IT tasks has a timeline, which of course the IT issues uh, don't. Another major difference between these two is the number of views. The tasks has a calendar, it has a Gantt chart already built, and uh, the issues only has these three. I'm going to continue this demo by creating a new task and also by creating a new item in the issues list here and we'll notice the difference in the fields available to us. There we go. Now I have both of the forms available side by side. The most glaring difference is of course the show more button which is available in tasks. It hides the less important fields. You can show the other fields by clicking here. There's no way to control which fields are available above the show more button so if you don't like the show more buttons you might want to go with the issues instead otherwise you have some other differences let's start with the due date and uh, that's there of course but the start date is uh, missing you see there's no start date in the issues list so if you want to have a start date you need to add that another difference here is that the categories is available in the issues but not in the tasks Another field that's only available in the issues is the comments field. As you see, you only have one description field here for the task, and, but you have a, a description field and a comments field in the issues. Otherwise, most of the fields are the same. They're called related issues uh, or predecessors, but I think they are used or meant to be used in the same way. So what I would recommend is that you take the one that you like the most and then modify it to suit your own needs. I'll show that in future demonstrations and everything that I'm showing in those future demonstrations will work also in both of these lists. So it really doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm gonna continue building on the issues tracking list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.